Hey, what's up guys? Long time no talk. I apologize for that. But um, just been going through some stuff lately, uh, mentally and physically, and had to take a quick break. But I'm back now. I wanted to help give more to you guys. So hopefully you can watch this video and, and take something from it. But um, I was reading this book called The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra. And um, what he says in there when he's talking about giving and receiving is that there is really no difference. They're one thing. And he didn't put it into... The way I think is kind of like in pictures and I have these like energetic, strange uh, things that go through my mind that I, that I can form into, you know, physical things and physical ideas. It's very weird how my mind works like that. But when he said that, that giving is really the same thing as receiving, but you can't have one without the other, without the other I came up with this whole t -t -t thing, and, and I actually drew it on the board, what it is. So, if giving, if you need receiving in order to give, and this is with anything, if you want to make more money, if you want to be happier, if you want to lose weight, Maybe you help other people lose weight, that's going to help you lose weight. You see what I mean? So, just like you can't have, I can't give you $20 without you receiving $20. You can't have a giver without a receiver. You can't have a receiver without a giver. So, anytime I give something, it's really pointing to a larger circuit of energy or a larger organism or some kind of larger... Uh, technology that is at hand here just so giving is pointing me giving you twenty dollars is pointing at you receiving twenty dollars automatically it has to be okay me giving you twenty dollars is pointing at you receiving twenty and then you receiving twenty is pointing at <laughs> at um, me giving twenty and then the whole spectrum is pointing at and then from an outside perspective, it's pointing at a whole thing that's going on. So if you had three people, one person was giving 20 bucks, one person was receiving 20 bucks, and one person was watching this whole situation go down, this third person watching it would say that's one interaction, right? That's why they call it a transaction. One transaction is a symbol of someone giving and someone receiving. So if you go to um, seven, if you go to the pizza place and you get a large cheese pizza, that person you're giving money in order to receive the pizza, but they only call it a transaction. If you just gave twenty dollars and you didn't get nothing back, that's gonna cause an issue in the spectrum. So you see how it works? They're one thing. They're dependent on each other. What I called that is the energetic tide. Because giving is an energy, receiving is, energy, is an energy, and the tide is giving and receiving. Giving and receiving, it's one thing. So the whole energetic tide, I drew a circle around these two giving and receiving energies to represent what's going on that everyone seems to ignore, that no one really knows is going on, that you can actually see it now. Oh, okay. This is what's really going on. So when I give, this person receives, it goes through them, and it comes back to me. You're not giving out. It's not going out straight to you. Me giving this video to you isn't just going straight out through the camera. It's really coming in a circle. The energetic, energetically. Okay? So, I kind of, I'm still trying to kind of, you know, focus it. But it's really cool. So anytime you give, you automatically receive. It's completely dependent upon that. What Deepak Chopra says in the book as well is if you give and you feel like you're losing something, then you won't receive. You won't get the receiving end of that. Because you're not really giving. You're not really partaking in that energetic process. You give someone... Um, a gift and you feel like you lost the money that it cost you for that gift then you you're just in a deficit you lost the whole point should be to give happiness so whether I give you a flower whether I give you 
some other form of a gift. The point is to bring you happiness and me happiness. So when I give you a present, we both get happy. So even in that small little interaction, that immediate interaction, I'm happy and you're happy. We both got happy. We both gave and receive because I give you that. So there's all this constant back and forth there. Okay. So in order to receive, you have to give without feeling like you're losing something. And I believe the only way you can genuinely give without feeling like you're losing something in today's society is by understanding this concept that giving is receiving. They're one thing. It's impossible to separate the other one from the other. So next time you receive something, know that it's part of one thing. So if we want to receive more, as we receive more, it's kind of our duty to give more. Because now, if I have, if I make twenty dollars, the amount of money I can give away is only give is only twenty dollars. But if I start to make a hundred thousand dollars, I have more energetic energy to play with to keep pumping through here. So as you give more, you receive more. As you receive more, you give more. As you give more, you receive more. As you give, as you receive more, you give more. So it just continues and it grows upon itself. But if, let's say, you start, and what, this is what I found in myself, you start giving more, you start receiving more. You start giving more, you start receiving more. Now that I'm receiving more, I want to keep it all to myself and I don't want to give it away. It halts the, the whole flow right there. So you stop receiving because you stopped giving because they're one thing. So the more you receive, the more you got to give, and the more you give, the more you're going to receive. Is essentially what I'm saying. Basically what I'm saying is, oh here, I circled it because it was, because it was concise instead of this long ass video. So give more to receive more, and receive more to give more. Okay? Alright, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.